In this video, we are going to learn the most important aspects to consider, to choose the correct chiller for an industrial refrigeration installation. If this topic interests you, stay with us, and of course subscribe to our channel. We are going to list the steps to select the correct chiller. Step 1. Calculate the thermal load of the installation, to ensure that the chosen chiller is large enough. In addition, in this step, the flow of water that the chiller will handle must be calculated. Step 2. Select the type of cooling for the chiller condenser. If the selection is an air-cooled chiller, it should be noted. Where the condenser will be located indoors or outdoors, the height of ceilings, obstructions, walls, the highest and lowest ambient air temperatures, and the general location. If instead the selection of the chiller is cooled by water, it must be taken into account. What is the source of water you have, and its capacity in gallons per minute? Consider whether the water will need filtration, before it enters the chiller condenser. Step 3. Consider whether the chiller condenser will be a package system or remote condenser. Step 4. Evaluate the accuracy of the temperature control required by the process. If tight temperature control is needed, you may need a two-loop process cooler, to keep a tank on board, or separate at a specific temperature. Step 5. Evaluate the voltages available to the chiller. It must be taken into account, what electrical work is required to power the new cooler, depending on the voltage you select. Also consider, what voltage could potentially be more efficient during operation. Step 6. Performance curves and parameters should be used to select a model that meets or exceeds the required capacity, based on the temperature of the chilled water supply, and the highest expected ambient temperature. The margin of safety of the application must be considered, with respect to the sizes of coolers available. Step 7. Consider again the estimated inlet and outlet temperatures of the water to the chiller, to get an idea of the characteristics that the distribution should have. If for example, there is a high temperature, in the water they return to the chili, only during startup and then reduce to the proper temperature range, special precautions may not be necessary. But on the contrary, if the high return temperatures for the water are maintained, the corresponding design measures must be taken. Step 8. Assess what level of protection the ice water requires from freezing. To do this, take into account, which is the coldest temperature of the fluid during operation. Step 9. Evaluate if the chiller requires a secondary pump, to distribute the chilled water in the application. Step 10. Know if the heat flow of the process to be cooled changes, will stop or be constant, to study the chiller at partial loads. Step 11. Information must be known are the water flow requirements, and the pressure value required by the process. Step 12. Check available pump performance curves to ensure that the pump will provide enough pressure at the design flow rate to meet the application. Step 13. Evaluate initial investment, operating cost of the chillers, consider spending on electrical energy, maintenance costs, and depreciation. Step 14. Take into account the type of refrigerant that the chiller will have, investigate future environmental restrictions of some substances in some areas. Step 15. Take into account available chiller brand endorsement, installation assistance, and warranty. At the moment, a link to a related video is appearing, which will surely interest you. But first subscribe to our channel. Thanks for joining us.